Hi there, boys and girls. We are joined today by our friend Tabitha. Hi there, boys and girls. Good to see you. You know, Mrs. Neve, I can't believe kindergarten is almost over. Oh, I know. It's gone by so fast. Yes, it has. It's been an amazing year. I've learned so much, Mrs. Neve. I know you have, Tabitha. You've worked hard and you've learned a lot. Yes, I can read now. And I can tell the time. Oh, I can add numbers together. That's right. I can write things down. I can write uh, sentences. And I know all the letters. True. And guess what? I've learned lots from the Bible, too. And, and now I know 26 Bible verses. Ooh, make that 28, because you know there were those two in the Pledge to the Bible. That's right. Wow, it's been a good year. It sure has. You know, it's, it's natural when you get to the end of, uh, of something to, to kind of look back and remember. Um, I have a book that will help us do that. Oh, really, Mrs. Neve? Yes, it is called We Like Kindergarten. Oh, it looks interesting. Yes, it is a fiction book. Uh, the little girl in it is named Carol, and I don't think there was really a little girl named Carol like the one in the book, but it does have some true facts about kindergarten. Cool. So, you know, it's kind of fun as we read through it. It'll spark some memories for you, too. Some fond kindergarten memories. Yes, Mrs. Neve, yes. And I learned how to sit quietly and listen, so here I go. Thank you, Tabitha. Crisscross applesauce, dear. Hands in my lap. Okay. We like kindergarten. Here's our title page. It, we like kindergarten by Clara Cassidy. She's the author. Oh, and the pictures are by Eloise Wilkin. My name is Carol. I'm going to kindergarten. I go to kindergarten every day. Oh, isn't that sweet? Mommy's getting her ready at the house, ready to leave for school. Lori and Teddy Bear want to go to kindergarten too. So does Rusty. So does Patches. She's too little, and I'm sorry the pets aren't allowed. At kindergarten, I hang up my spotted coat. Stephen hangs up his brown coat. Ah, now, some kindergartens, they have hooks to hang up your coats. Here you get to have your own locker, huh? All the boys and girls go into the kindergarten. Miss Hall is our teacher. She plays the piano. We sing good morning to you. Ah, there they are coming into class. now. We, when we come into class, we don't sing good morning, but we say good morning to each other, don't we? Good morning, class. And you say, good morning, Mrs. Neve. Uh, now, Miss Hall plays the piano. I don't play the piano, but I do play the flute, remember? Michael feeds our fish. Susan feeds our turtle. We take turns. Someday it will be my turn to feed them. Now, we did not have a class pet unless you count Mr. Alligator. I heard that, Mrs. Neve. We do finger painting. I am painting with blue. Karen is painting with red. Now, we didn't do finger painting, but we did painting, didn't we? We painted some beautiful pictures. We did some other art projects, too. We make animals of clay. I'm making a dog. Douglas is making an elephant. Uh, clay, what well, we call it Play-Doh, and yes, we played with Play-Doh in kindergarten, absolutely. And in virtual kindergarten, you probably made some Play-Doh arachnids and insects, right? We play games. We play Farmer in the Dell. So there they are playing a game. We played games too, didn't we? Uh, we played the listening game, of course, and we played ooh, Around the World. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you got to play some games at, in music class with Mrs. Crichoon, and also at PE with Mrs. DeYoung. She had fun games for you to play. We play music. Jack plays a drum. Sally plays the bells. We like to play music. Mm -hmm. And of course, we, we sang lots of songs in kindergarten, 
and in music class with Mrs. Crichoon. You did lots of singing and learned about musical instruments. Mm -hmm. We listen while Miss Hall tells us stories. We sit quietly. We like to hear stories. And of course we have story time too. Having it right now, right? Oh yeah. And there's Miss Hall. Now, do you think all teachers have blonde hair and wear glasses? We show and tell about things that happen. Mark told about his new baby sister. Eric showed us his pet hamster. Ah, so they were having their show and tell. We had show and tell too, didn't we? When you were star student, that was your turn for show and tell. We go outside to play. I like to swing. We all take turns. Oh, and we went outside to play too, didn't we? God has blessed us with a really nice playground swings and the glider and all. Yeah. Always fun to go out for recess. Oh, we have milk to drink. Jackie did not drink all of his milk. Oh dear, looks like poor Jackie spilled his milk. Now, I didn't pass out milk, of course. You'd br bring your own drinks from home. Uh, of course, we could get water from the faucet. Uh, and we did have lots of water spills, didn't we? Yeah. It's just part of being in kindergarten. that's snack time yeah and we definitely had snack time we rest on our rugs my rug is blue Kim's rug is blue too oh. now in some kindergartners they do have kind of like a rest nap time uh, we didn't do that but we would have read and rest remember where we'd sit on the carpet and hear stories and just get a chance to rest some yeah we dance Martha and Annette dance. Paul and Jack dance. We like to dance. Ooh. Yeah, we like to do movement things too, didn't we? Ah, uh, do you remember Father Abraham? I was almost like a dance, wasn't it? Father Abraham, you know, left arm, right arm. You remember. We drew pictures. Miss Hall hangs our pictures on the wall. I drew our house. I drew a picture of Lori by our house. There's the artwork hung up. And of course, we did that with your artwork too, didn't we? We'd have it on the bulletin board in our classroom sometimes or hanging up in the hallway for everybody to see. Yeah, you guys are talented artists. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Hall. See you tomorrow. Lori is waiting for me when I come home. So is Rusty, so is Patches, and so is Teddy Bear. Yep. Our school day ended at 3.15, if you recall. Yeah, and then it was time to go home. Home to the family. Now, I am the kindergarten teacher. I am Miss Carol. Lori and Rusty and Patches are my boys and girls. I play the piano. The children sing, good morning to you. Rusty and Patches and Teddy Bear sing softly. <laughs> Lori sings loudly. She is glad to be in kindergarten. <laughs> oh, so when Carol got home after school, she would play kindergarten at home. Maybe you do that too. Maybe you play school at home. When, with uh, some of our video chats, I've heard some of you mention that. Yeah. Aw, what a sweet book. We like kindergarten. You know, uh, there's so many fond memories that we have and I want you to be able to, you know, of course, remember all of them, but a great way to remember something special is to write it down. So your assignment is to get your journal, find the next empty page, and write down one of your kindergarten memories. Something that was special to you in kindergarten, maybe your favorite thing. We did so many things. We, let's see, of course you learned how to read. Maybe you want to talk about the alphabet or maybe the puppets we played with and helped us learn. Uh, maybe you want to write about, you know, your favorite Bible story that you learned in kindergarten. Or maybe it was about math. Maybe you really liked around the world and you want to write about that. Um, it could be, ooh, maybe one of our field trips, our trip to the fair. 
or our trip to, trip to the pumpkin patch. Uh, let's see, or maybe one of our class parties. We had some fun parties, didn't we? Maybe you want to write about the Valentine's party or the Christmas party, oh, stone soup party. That was fun when we made stone soup, yeah. Um, or maybe day 100. Maybe you want to write about day 100 or teddy bear day. Oh, so many happy memories. So think about you know, one of your happy kindergarten memories and write down two or three sentences about it. Maybe more. You could do a fourth sentence. Um, first, write your first sentence. Tell us some that your favorite kindergarten memory and then give us some more information about it. Now, uh, we did have a historic thing happen during our kindergarten year, didn't we? Uh, the COVID-19 virus where schools and closed and well just about everything closed didn't it uh, because we wanted people to stay safe and not get sick um, so that was something very unusual maybe you want to write about that that you you had to do virtual school uh, boy that's something when you grow up you'll be able to tell your kids about that because nothing like this has ever happened before well boys and girls i am looking forward to seeing your kindergarten memories don't tear out the page or hand in your journal because I want you to be able to keep your journal as a special kindergarten memory in and of itself. This is something you'll want to save for years. Uh, my daughter Sophie, she's 16 years old and she still has her kindergarten journal. It's very special to her. Uh, she'll probably show it to her kids someday, maybe when they're in kindergarten. Maybe you'll do that too. Um, I'm sure your kids would love to see it. Now. Uh, I would, as I said, love to see what you write. So please ask mom or dad if they can take a picture of it and post it on Teams. We would all love to see it. Now, don't forget, you have a space in your journal to draw a picture. So after you write your kindergarten memory, remember two, three, maybe four sentences, draw a picture to go with it. All right, I am looking forward to seeing your kindergarten memories. Oh boy, I can't decide, Mrs. Neve. So many happy memories. What will I ever write about? Mm, you'll come up with something, Tabitha. I will think about it. Mm, yes. Boys and girls, thank you for working so hard in kindergarten. I know you're going to do a great job in first grade. I'm going to miss you, Mrs. Neve. I know I'm going to miss you too. I'm going to miss you, boys and girls. But remember, God has a plan, and it is part of his plan for you to be growing and to grow up and to learn new things, and someday he's, you know, he's got special things for you to do. So I am proud of you. I'm praying for you, and don't forget to come over and give me the hugs and say hello, right? Because remember, you're going to be just across the hall. Good thing for Mrs. Neve. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, boys and girls, have fun thinking about your kindergarten memories and writing them down. And always remember, God has a plan.